everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tino Woods with Mike Durney Real Estate. We're here about 12 miles northwest of San Saba, Texas, on the Oak Bluff Ranch, which does go down and touch the Colorado River. It's 871 plus or minus acres. More hills, draws, cliffs than you've ever seen. Uh, we've got three tanks on the place. Beautiful uh, views. I mean, there's views out of this world all over the ranch. Plus, there's just deer and turkey running wild out here. So we're going to drive through it. We can't capture the beauty of it on film, but we're going to do the best we can and hope you can give us a call and let us show it to you. Okay, folks, here we go. Don't you hang on real tight because this is going to be a little bit rough ride. I'm just give you just a little bit of a hint of where we're at here. We're up on top of the hill here on the ranch. And way over in the distance, if you can see, it's a little bit hazy today. That's Mills County over there. And that's the turbines around Goldthwaite, Texas. And I don't know how far that is, it's a long way. Back over to the right, if you can see right in front of me, that is San Saba Peak. If you folks know anything about San Saba and Mills County, you got an idea about where we're at now. I'm gonna swing on around a little bit. And there's a water tower way over there. On. That's one of the highest points around this part of the county. Whipper, right level with it, looks like me, like, but it's right over on, uh, I'm trying to get brought back down. That's right over on Highway 16, right north of San Saba, about what, probably 10, 12 miles. So, anyway, hang on. This is a beautiful place. It's got some tremendous hunting on it. And if you want to get away from it all, you don't get much further than getting away from it here. And like I say, this is going to be a little bit rough. And our. <laughs> find out just how good a videographer I am here. Uh, don't try this at home. You see there's some deep, we're coming off, we're not even at the top of the hill, but we came about three quarters way down. There's some deep bluffs down each side. There's a lot of great places to build a lake down here. A lot of water comes off here. Uh, it's really easy to get lost on this place, but I believe that we're going from the southwest corner back over towards the northeast corner, moving along the south fence line, because the south fence line is a pretty good ways over there. Uh, like I say, we're gonna just kind of pick some spots. We can't show you everything. We'll give you a good look at this place so you'll get an idea of where it's something you like or not. We drive all the way out here and check it out. See, that's where we came from. We're dropping off the hill, getting down into the flat down below, down toward the river. <laughs> to give you a little idea about how steep this is. We're the driver's trying to get us off without turning us over. <laughs> Down below, you can see a feeder set up there and another blind. This road runs from the top on the far west end of the place all the way across back down to the east. So you need to have some time to get there. You don't need to be in no hurry. Get to the bottom, that's a little draw. There's a couple of feeders down here. These Gotten back down in the bottom now here a little bit. A little smoother run. You got buried terrain here. It depends on what you like. It's probably out here. Uh, we uh, were here this morning, uh, right after we, uh, this place is so rough that we crashed our drone out here. And I'm telling you, you can just ride it off. There's no way in the world, if you like thick cover, we love this place, because there's no way we could ever find it. Uh, we did see a monster buck right here. Right about where we're at this morning while we're out looking for it. So, I'm going to turn around here and kind of show the hills back behind us a little bit. Where we came from. Ranch does have a good series of roads all through it. Uh, like I said, it's 800, so 870 acres or something. 
but you'll swear. I guarantee you'll swear you've been on 1,500, 2,000 acres. Uh, we have yet to get down up and down all the roads. We've been on a lot of them. But don't come out here thinking you can look at this place in an hour or two. It's going to take a while if you really take a good look at it because it just goes and goes and goes. There's something new around every corner. Another one of the deep draws that come running off this place. It joins up pretty good little wet weather creek and runs down into the taller rock. Here's a, one of the ponds on the ranch right here. A little cleared area, one of the hunters in the blind. It wraps around, I got that little island there, for little Yeah. See, this was down at the tanks down here at the bottom. Woods, how many tanks here? There's three, this is one in the bottom, there's two up on the west side. Three total. This is the one down at the bottom. Okay. back in the background, that's back to the west. We're down in the flats down below. He was just telling me that he was here earlier, kind of trim out a path, and right in here is where he saw, he saw another big buck. So I think you're gonna find that there's big deer all over this country. There's a lot, probably a lot more stuff down here than big deer. Okay, uh, we're now in the northeast corner of the place. If you can see this fence right here, uh, that's where you go to the Colorado River. You got a 30, 40 stri uh, feet strip right straight down to the Colorado River. Uh, we're going to show you this, then we're going to take you back up on the hill by the county road and show you a little bit more. Okay, we've... Uh around down to the, the northeast corner of the ranch, over that fence. We've come back and we're cutting diagonally back across from the, what you call it, the southeast corner back toward the northwest corner. This is the main road right here. It comes in off of the county road. I would add that this is not exactly a ranch for the weak of mind or physical abilities. <laughs> but if you're, if you're like me and you watch CNN and Fox every once in a while, and you just wish you could go somewhere where you didn't have to deal with that crap for a while, uh, not have to worry about anything or anybody. You can come out here and you need cell service, you can get on top of the hill, got it. You don't want to hear that cell phone ring. <laughs> get up the bottom of the hill and you won't hear it. There's no service there. We're about to wind this tour up. We're back over here by the county road on the uh, west side of the property. So hang on, it's just about that. It's, it's really hard to see, but the county road is kind of built up at the very top of the hill. You're, we're going along here beside the county road. Right inside the fence. As you go to our left, it's just a little ways that you drop off some tremendous elevation changes. You can't see it because the cover's so thick. We're gonna we get a little glimpse of it every now and then. But we are up close to the top. Electricity's right here on the road. We're gonna drive out on the one of these peaks here, right on the bluffs, and give you one last look before we shut her down. This is this is just right inside the main gate where you're coming off the road. This is what you get to see right off. There's a couple of ponds down here below. We're going to take a look at them. Right here is your uh, number two pond. It's getting up on top of the hill. You see it's holding water good. Yeah, great spot for a blind too. So 
is the number one watering hole. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little short film on this place. Like I say, it's really too beautiful to film. Uh, it's got everything you're looking for if you're wanting a hunting ranch. Uh, no homes, no barns, it's just raw land. It's wildlife exempt. Take a quote from Willard Jordan. You, know, you can drive your wheels off looking for one and you'll never find it, it's right here. So give us a call. Uh, you may want to schedule a one or two, three hour showing because this thing is the uh, biggest 870 acres I've ever been on. So give us a call night or day. We'll be glad to, waiting to hear from you.